Hey, welcome back guys. So in this video, I wanna talk about a, a narrative that I have heard throughout the Infusionsoft user community and, and you probably will hear or maybe you have already heard as well. And it's that people compare Infusionsoft to a Ferrari, right? But then they say, if you are only using it this much, it's like you never take that Ferrari out of first gear. And what they're, what they're implying is that you need to be using 100% of Infusionsoft. You need to be uh, maximizing the software in order for it to be valuable. And that narrative has always rubbed me the wrong way. The implication is that Infusionsoft is designed to be used 100%, and that's simply not true. Infusionsoft serves a variety of business models, of business types, it solves a variety of small business pain points, and obviously those challenges are unique and different for different industries, for different business models, for different parts of the world, and so the goal isn't to use all of the features, those features weren't all designed for you. In fact, there may very well be some that, that you'll never touch, and that's okay. The goal is to get clear on what your business needs, and then to do 100% of that. So I think the, the takeaway, and what I wanna underscore with some, some conversation from my friends here in a moment, is that your 100%, whatever that means for you and for your business, is, is different than what mine is and different what, than what the next business is, is right? And so it's, it's a matter of getting clear on what your priorities are and then focusing on doing 100% of that rather than trying to just use all of the software's features because they're there. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I wanna share with you the reaction a few of my friends had to, to this conversation as well. Infusionsoft is a really powerful tool. When you experience something powerful, it, it can be awe-inspiring, it can be exciting, but if, if you try and jump into a sports car and take off and drive it before you've learned to drive, there's gonna be problems. Uh, but rather than focusing on the, on the the basics or, or getting someone in just to, to focus on that uh, kind of in, in, initial piece of work to get things started, learning how to drive, so to speak. Focus on the basics to, to start with and, and you'll, you'll reap the benefit. The, to be effective and efficient, you need to think, what is the problem that this tool is gonna solve for me? And is it worth, does it have a ROI on its own? Is this something that is going to make me uh, more effective and efficient in what I'm doing. The the fact that you don't need to actually use every feature within Infusionsoft to get the value that it can bring to your business. There's a, tons of jokes and people that you'll probably hear around like, are you only using 10% of Infusionsoft as if like you're not getting the most out of the platform. But the reality is if you use 10% of Infusionsoft and it produces, you know, a hundred X return, do you really need to be using all of the features? Like it's already it's already doing what you need it to do. Okay, so uh, I hope that makes sense. The the takeaway from this video is to spend some time either on your own or or with a consultant identifying what it is you need Infusionsoft to do for your business. Like if you think of Infusionsoft as an employee that you are hiring into a specific role, what is the job description for that role? And then how do we go about building the automation that ticks all of the boxes for that job description? Now, of course, over time, you can do more than whatever was on that initial list. But when you talk about using 100% of Infusionsoft, it isn't about using 100% of the features, it's about doing 100% of the things your business needs from the software. So I hope that distinction makes sense to you. That is it for now. I will see you in the uh, next module.